Well, September is a popular month for new babies, so we want to make sure you are well equipped to take the best baby photos you can. So, for photographer Madison with Malik Photo in Southlake is here with some great tips on taking our first baby photos. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm glad you're here. You know, we love them. We think they're cute no matter what. But you know, we take them, bring them home from the hospital. Sometimes they've got that baby acne and they've got that jaundice. How can we take a photo? and make sure that some of those less than flattering spots in our baby are covered up. Um, first of all, I'd, I'd like to talk about um, a baby with jaundice, for instance. Okay. Um, it's better when you shoot those pictures um, for you to turn them to black and white. Because ah. then, you know, in, in black and white, you don't see the color, the yellow color. The, that yeah, they, they look kind of like a carrot. I know. <laughs> I've had babies with jaundice myself. And so this would be an example of the baby with the jaundice. And then, boy, you're right. It's such a beautiful shot here in black and white. Yes, I think so, too. All right, and then what about the, the little acne part? I mean, is there something you can do about that? Yes, for the acne, um, you'd have to be proficient in Photoshop. Hmm. Um, what we do at the, at, the, at the studio is um, my partner, Mitch, um, does the, the touch-ups and everything. Hmm. And this is an example. There we go. Of, um, actually, this is Mitch's baby, um, oh. Paisley before uh -huh. and after. Oh, wow, that's a big difference. That really is a big difference. So you really have to, though, be pretty well versed on doing kind of this Photoshop, this, this you know, touch-ups, if you will, and that's why sometimes we need to definitely work with a professional. Yes. All right, well, what if we, though, you know, we're, we have this new baby, we want to be able to take some candid shots on our own. What kind of cameras do you recommend? If we don't want to spend thousands of dollars, but we still want to have a nice camera, what features would you suggest we include? Um, one of the cameras that that I personally like for a point of shoot um, is the Canon G10. Mm. And um, it gives you a little bit of um, professionalism, mm -hmm. but you don't have to spend a lot of money because it's, it's under $500. Wow. And that one I have, you know, by the counter when my daughter is doing silly stuff, I just grab it and you know, point, shoot. And sometimes those are the absolute best photos. Yes. Well, okay, so here's another question for you. I see you have some gorgeous shots of these little group, you know, all these kids and groups. But what if you've got the family picture, but then you've got the one kid, which in my case would be my Luke, who, you know, has his tongue sticking out or is, you know, making funny faces and ruins the entire shot. What can you do in that kind of case? What we do is, um, if you came to the studio, for instance, we g get a, a couple of shots of Luke by himself, mm -hmm. being being nice and and yeah, yes. sitting up straight and e smiling exactly. pretty. And, mm -hmm. and when we do the family shots, and he's you know sticking his tongue out or doing <laughs> doing that, you know, we just kind of swap the images. Oh, so you could just literally put you could put in a different picture. Oh yeah, that's the the amazing thing about technology. You can do anything. Wow, and that's sometimes again why we sometimes need to go to a professional. What did you have in mind as far as recommendations for us um, when it comes to the time of day, the best time to take the best photos of our babies? Um, in the morning, as the sun is about to rise, you get really beautiful light. Because um, again, in, in the studio, the lights create the illusion of daylight. Mm -hmm. And um, so in, in the mornings, um, that light is, is beautiful for taking pictures. And when the sun is going down as well, you get nice, nice tones that you could, you know, um, use your point and shoot. Um, where, there's, where, where you have some light. Well, and also, I, I would imagine, well, and I know this for a fact, in the mornings when they're fresh, when they haven't had, you know, the, the traumas of the day that sometimes can occur, it's a great time to get them, get their best shots. So I think it's, that's all that's, excellent. That's, that's true, where um, they haven't taken any sugar. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> And Halloween's coming up too. That's true. Stick them in their costume now <laughs> before they start getting on a kind of complete overdose with all the Halloween candy. You're absolutely right. Well, this is fantastic. You have a gorgeous studio. How long have you been taking pictures? Um, this is my this is my tenth year. Wow. Wow, this is wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing these fantastic tips for us. I appreciate it. And Malik Photo is located in Southlake. You can log on to malikphoto.com for more information.